So starting the new unit, we've got uh, the organic unit that's left. And uh, to kick things off, we just need to understand exactly what is an organic compound and how that compares to substances that are inorganic. Uh, so inorganic just means not organic. So anything that isn't fitting the description or the definition of an organic compound is considered inorganic. Uh, and really, obviously, we're going to focus basically exclusively <clears throat> on organic compounds in this, in this uh, unit. So the definition of an organic compound is simply it's a compound that contains carbon. So if you find the element carbon within the chemical formula somewhere, that substance is an organic compound. Uh, now there's a couple of, a few exceptions that we have to cover that are con carbon containing compounds that if you find that compound within a substance, uh, it's, it's still considered inorganic. So a couple of exceptions. First one is anything that contains the carbonate ion. So CO3 2 minus. Uh, that's going to be considered an inorganic compound, okay? not organic. Uh, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, these are the only two carbon oxides that exist. Uh, these guys also are inorganic substances. Um, also, any compound that contains the cyanide ion, that's also going to be considered inorganic or not organic. And then the last one is what we call carbides. And all carbides really are is it just kind of looks like the carbon atom is acting as an anion. So it's, it's bound with some metal ion uh, in a chemical formula. And you see it usually here like this where you've got the metal in the front and then the carbon at the end of the formula. Uh, and that, that would be considered a carbide. So sodium carbide, magnesium carbide. Uh, lithium carbide, these would all be carbides that, that would be considered to be not organic or inorganic. And that's it. That's kind of the intro to the unit, guys. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.